A special camera called the Rapidtronic was developed at EGNG to photograph the initial burst of energy in the first millionth of a second. Six cameras simultaneously captured the progression of the fireball as it vaporized the tower. Here, these images are combined to give the impression of motion. The, the cameras were mounted on racks uh, up on top of a 300-foot tower in a cab. And so uh, usually in each tower we had six cameras. And uh, they were stacked one on top of the other. And this is so precise that we can have two cameras sitting side by side or 600 meters apart and have them go off within a millionth of a second of each other. And that way we can make these diameter measurements to make the uh, efficiency measurements. This is the lens right in here. And immediately behind the lens is the uh, Compour shutter. Now, and then this little hump sticking out in here is the electromagnetic shutter, the Rapatronic shutter itself. This is the tube. This would correspond to the bellows of a regular camera. And we have baffles in here to keep the light from uh, bouncing around. This is the film holder back here. And this is the time delay mechanism right here so that if we want this camera to fire 10 millionths of a second after initiation, then we set the knob back here and this takes care of the delay and fires the Rapidtronic camera at the right time. This is the external electronics right here that uh, some of these tubes are, are controlling the circuit. Most of the electronics are in the, in the chassis inside here. So these are just what's left over right here. And in the back, you can't see it, but this is where all of our cables come in to power the camera itself, right in this after section here.